Hey, so here is our snippet with Diego and Winnie. Um, we did use them individually and together today, so I I'm so proud of the kids. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so right here we're working on Winnie's disengagement from her brother. You can see that she is just not thrilled about this. Um, she eventually does settle on working on a place command right there. <laughs> but she was still like, no, no, why am I being separated from Diego? How dare you? And Diego's like, okay, I guess I'll tolerate this. Um, so we worked on barking individually with siblings being present, no more than eight feet apart. Um, and we had some dogs walk in, we had some people walk in. We're alternating them where it's individuality. Remember, this is what we're working on. Remember, this is what ex the expectation is. And then as we work through this, you'll see halfway through this video is that we pair them together and then bring work them together with an additional dog as our distraction. So now that you're right next to your sibling, how are you processing this? Um, big accomplishment from this training session is that they both were taking treats. Winnie takes treats, no problem, generally. But Diego was taking treats. Like, he was like, oh, hey, I like those. It was amazing to see the shift in his personality um, and him getting comfortable with it, which is, ah, chef's kiss. Um, so <laughs> hang tight. I'll hop back on. But you get to really see them working individually first. This is a good warm up before we get into some of the heavier stuff. So here they are together, we're on a place command, and there is Miss Mia. Now, what you don't see on the camera is we actually practice walking the dogs from one end of the lobby to the other end of the lobby before we get them closer. That way we can assess how we're gonna bark, um, or if we are going to bark, or how our like spatial awareness is. Now, here's the ironic thing um, with Diego and Winnie. Um, they do pretty well. Uh, Winnie is definitely all about Diego. She definitely checks in on him throughout this whole process. Um, but Mia is known as a barker. Um, and her brother, Wilbur, who you'll see in just a second, um, when they're together, they bark because they're together. And Diego and Winnie bark when they're together. So we got to work the two sibling pairs that struggle with barking, especially being on leash together. Um, we got to work it against each other. And they were, they did, both groups did phenomenal. But... They, she is a small dog. <clears throat> she does whine a little bit. So that was a practice for Diego and Winnie. And you're right there. He took the treat. Um, right there, <laughs> he did a little fist bump. Um, they were able to work through something that wasn't so high threshold. And with the dogs being able to walk around almost like a leapfrog, it helps reinforce. Doesn't matter if you're on a place command or if you're walking away from the dog or the dog's walking away from you, we do not bark. Um, so big accomplishment today in working the, the kids together. So I did snip forward um, and cut it where now you'll see um, we're working back on Winnie and this is uh, Wilbur and Mia. So 
Um, when we start changing variables, we always want to make it as easy as possible. Winnie definitely by herself is a little bit more of the barker than Diego is. Diego is definitely with you guys. Winnie's a little bit more by herself. Um, so I wanted to get that calm and focused. I also wanted to make sure that me and Wilbur would be safe um, in their own reactivity as well. So just safety precautions and why we kind of fluctuate with the dogs. So in just a moment, you'll see Diego join us and then you'll see the two pairs work against each other. And here we are, <laughs> look at that. Um, what's fun about this pairing is that they're siblings, both female and male on both sides of the family that are relatively the same size, who have to pay attention while they're on the leash. And if a sibling does something, you can see both pairs kind of check in on the other of like, oh, hey, are you okay? Cool, all right, sweet, let's keep going. Um, so this is phenomenal because it means they're listening, they'll listen together, not just individually, and we can have high level of distractions with us. Now, the next step is starting with bigger dogs, um, doing people, people that are talking to us, and getting you guys in part of the process too. But um, super proud of how much work we did and how much they've accomplished. So, yay! Let me know if you guys have any questions. <laughs>